Oh, hey there! As you know, I'm Airman First Class Shane Phipps, and right now I'm bringing you the newest episode of Airman and Adventures. Why am I standing beneath a fountain getting soaked, you might be wondering? Well, the answer is quite simple. Our local area here in Idaho has much more to offer than just base jumping and rock climbing, but an assortment of beautiful parks, movie theaters, and restaurants as well. So let's go check it out, huh? Mountain Home Air Force Base is in an ideal part of the country for someone who loves the great outdoors. Of course, not everyone shares the same interests. Still, flanked between two major cities on a busy interstate, our local area has plenty to offer the not-so-adventurous soul. Over 620,000 people, nearly 40% of Idaho's population, reside in the Boise City Nampa metropolitan area. And of course, it is filled with things to see and do, from water parks to museums, restaurants to shopping centers. Built in 1959, scenic Ann Morrison Park is but one of many parks in the Boise area. And as you can see, beauty is everywhere you look. 153 acre Ann Morrison Park is the largest developed park maintained by Boise Parks and Recreation. It provides for many leisure activities and features a fountain, disc golf, a playground, tennis courts, soccer, cricket, and football fields, and much more. The park sits right on the Boise River and has float takeout areas for those who fancy a leisurely drift through the waters. Another popular spot in Boise is Camel's Back Park. This park features standard amenities, but the highlight is access to the foothills from which you can get a panoramic view of the city below. If the outdoors just isn't your thing, try some of Boise's fine eateries and movie theaters, like my friend here. Most people don't undertake an hour-long drive to a bustling city to relax in a park for their entire stay. Boise offers an array of shopping centers, restaurants, cinemas, museums, and social venues that will surely sate anyone's appetite for a night on the town. It may be a little more of a drive, but the Twin Falls area is no less exciting. A smaller city, Twin Falls still boasts attractions of its own. And of course, there's the city's namesake, Shoshone Falls. At 212 feet, the falls are higher even than Niagara Falls and provide a dramatic backdrop for picnicking and sightseeing just outside the city limits. The surface of the moon as seen through a telescope is how geologist Harold T. Stearns described this area in 1923. This is Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. 18 miles southwest of Arco lies this striking scenery. The 750,000 acre Craters of the Moon National Monument was created as vast volumes of lava issued forth from several fissures known collectively as the Great Rift. There are many volcanic features throughout the park, some created as little as 2,000 years ago. In fact, you should visit while you can. Geologists believe that future events are likely. You know, southern Idaho offers much more than meets the eye. You don't have to be a skydiving, bungee jumping maniac. All you have to do is be able to enjoy beautiful parks, movie theaters, and restaurants. Till next time, I'm Airman First Class Shane Phipps in the Craters of the Moon. Great.